Hello and welcome back to Dead Rising. So you're probably wondering why we're back at this part again. Well, it, I forgot an item that we actually need for the first first boss that we come interact uh, interact with. So I'll show you where that is right now, and then as soon as we get it, we will head straight to the uh, the path that we left off, off on. So oh, just just dodge. Just dodge uh, everything here. So it's right over here. It's over in this big. Oh no! There it is. We got it. We got it. We just gotta go. Come on! <laughs> so now all we need to do is just go up the stairs now, and then uh, I will meet you back at the part that we, uh, we left off on. Right, so now that we have our trusty shotgun in hand, we're actually gonna head on back out. Uh, to save some survivors, uh, we're actually gonna be saving four in total, uh, for this episode anyway. Uh, but we will, be, we will be taking on a boss uh, through this through this episode as well so uh, i'm also going to be showing some places where we can get some pp and um, we're going to talk to otis uh, we can't really skip these because uh, if you hang up on otis uh, he, he will call back and be like well, well, well that was rude so yes he tells us about uh, checking the map and uh, and stuff like that but uh, what you want to do Grab these mannequin torsos. Mannequin torsos are, are the most powerful, most powerful weapon against zombies. Uh, they will one-shot a zombie, uh, and it's qu it's quite good when you when you're in a pinch uh, and there's zombies surrounding you. Uh, but they don't they don't have the best of durability. But we'll get a cutscene here, and we'll watch it. Zombies, huh? I had a feeling you'd show up. God, it's you. Now both of them just nearly killed each other. Don't sneak up on me. <sighs> Brad was attacked. I located him on the monitor. Oh. It's probably just a sprain. I've got to help Brad, or he's done for. All right, fine. Give me your gun. Come on. I'm the reason you just got hurt. Let me help. No, I can't let a civilian do that. That's against regulations. Yeah, well, I don't think they had zombie-infested malls in mind when they wrote those regulations, kid. You know how to use this? Kinda. I've covered wars, you know. Oh, you set the line. Look, after I'm through helping you, you and I are going to have a nice little chat. So we actually do get that gun in our inventory. Um, we're not going to we're not going to worry about the the coffee creamer. We're going to actually keep this gun. Uh, we do get another one uh, in in like the next few minutes, but uh, we won't need we won't need that one. Now, uh, we can get some uh, PP here. Hopefully, hopefully it lines up. Stop. There we go. So yeah, we get ten thousand for that, and we get a level up, level up now. Uh, but uh, there's a little Easter egg in this in, in this section of the mall. Um, at the end, by the movie theater down there, uh, that 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 place uh, it's called Jill's Sandwiches, and it, it's kind of a re reference to uh, another uh, another Capcom game. 
uh, that they made uh, Resident Evil and it was the original where uh, Barry goes to J Jill and he says um, you are almost a Jill sandwich so yeah I thought that was a I thought that was a nice little detail that the um, that they added for an Easter egg. Uh, but in this in this area as well, uh, this area is quite uh, is quite dangerous. A little bit later on, uh, as soon as it starts getting darker, uh, there is a well, I want to say I want to say boss, but it's like three three uh, three convicts that drive around in a military military vehicle. Uh, it does have a mounted turret, and you can actually use that as a weapon. Uh, but we're not going to worry about them this episode. Hopefully, hopefully I, uh, I'm quick enough to save the survive survivors, so we don't have to deal with them. Uh, they are pretty, pretty annoying to deal with, uh, especially these next next few parts. And I'm going to be quiet now because we're going to get, get a cutscene. Don't shake your head with me. Sent me to find you. Who? Jesse? Damn it! Okay, we'll have to talk about this later. You know how to use that gun? I've never fired at a person. All right, I'll cover you from here. You need to stick to the shadows. Come on, Try Frank. Shooting a gun. Target, shooting okay? a gun's no different what am I from, to from do when I get close? aiming a camera. Well, the best solution would be to shoot the guy. But if you can't do that, keep him busy dodging your bullets and stay out of trouble. Are you up to it? I'm a lot better with a camera. But yeah, I'll give it a shot. All right. Next time he reloads, I'll lay down a suppressing fire. I'm counting on you. Make your way over there. One, two, three. So we do have a pistol that is forced into our inventory, but we're just going to switch out to switch out to mannequin. Now, with shotguns in this game, uh, for some reason, the damage output is still the same, uh, even when you're far away. Now we're going to be quick here. There we go. Got him. <laughs> They do, they do quite a lot of damage, uh, shotguns. And that was our first boss fight, Carlito. He wasn't that, he wasn't that menacing. He got away. Who was that anyway? I don't know. Well, thanks for your help. The name's Brad. I'm Frank West, photojournalist. And right now, I'd rather have an explanation than your thanks, Brad. Sorry, I've got nothing to tell you. Look, I don't know what Jesse told you. But as far as I'm concerned, we're through working together. So you cover your zombie story and leave the rest to us. You, uh, you guys are looking for someone here, aren't you? Hmm? Who is that? Where did you, you take You help it? me, I help you. Hell of a journalist, aren't you, Frank? 
Of course he is. He's covered boys, you know. A hot-headed, underhanded, hot-shot paparazzi. That's gonna be another running joke. Nothing better to do than to invade people's privacy. I try. You got a point. You win, Frank. Let's work together. Jesse and I are DHS agents. And yes, we are looking for the man in that picture. <laughs> You're with Homeland Security. Is that guy a terrorist or something? Now Brad's got that serious look that about him. The entrance plaza. Right near the front door. The entrance plaza. You're sure? Hey! So do I have your permission to cover this story? Or not? <sighs> so... Don't worry about Brad at the minute. Uh, we can follow him in just a second. But what we want to do here yeah. is right here in the smoothie place, we can make a quick step. Uh, and that's what we're going to do, which can use two two yogurts. And I believe it's two, two limes that can also be used. There we go. Now, let, let's just go catch up with, um, with Brad. Brad will go off and do his own his own little thing. He can he can handle handle himself pretty pretty well. So let's go into the next area. Yeah. Now this area is gonna have a few people that we can uh, we can save. But right here in the gym, uh, you see these punching bags. We're actually gonna shoot them. They give us quite a bit of XP. Yeah. Now we've got the kick. I'll give us, I'll give us prime. Perfect. Come on, Brad. We don't need to kill every zombie. Oh, we're really gonna have to. No, 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 no. Get off my peen. Oh, Frank, come on, you're wasting time now. Come on, we're running on the clock here. Come on, Brad. Yeah, the, 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 the NPCs are, are very smart. They're smart in this game. I've got a purple weapon there. Come on, Brad, just keep running. Just don't stop. No, you keep going. Keep going. Don't stop. Please. Otis, this isn't the time. I will just, uh, I will just wait for. All right, come on. Okay, so all we need to do, I don't think we really need to wait for Brad here, but all we need to do is just head on over this way to where the guy that we're looking for should be. Should only come over here and boom, cutscene. Sir, if you could just kindly come with us, we can wrap this whole thing up. 
No, I'm not leaving until you can Absolutely, guarantee sir. me safe you passage. Just open to this these... gate. Just open this gate no. for your protection. Just I am not us. opening any gate. Thank you very much. I'm going to stay right Do here. Dr. Barnaby. Safe. Sir. Thank you and good Dr. Dr. Barnaby. Stubborn old people, eh? What happened? You can't just arrest him? He turned down my offer to protect him. Said he isn't going anywhere until I can guarantee a secure route out of here. Jesse has a direct line to HQ. The first thing we need to do is to call for backup. So, at this point, Brad will just disappear. We will not see see anything on him, and Otis will give us a call. So yeah, he was just telling us about entrance plaza. Uh, quickly, right here, we can get two thousand XP from these here. Uh, um, what you want to do? Because we, we're going to be running on time. Use the quick step. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Um, what we want to do is we want to go to the bookstore that's over here because it will give us a book that will be able to give us more PP for survivors. So I'll read it here. As you say, 25% boost to PP. Uh, now you can use the the shotgun or you can use your uh, mannequin mannequin torsos to take out these zombies I am just going to use the mannequin torso to take these out uh, too quicker and I don't want to be aiming at them uh, there we go there's there's one of the mannequin torsos gone so you want to break these boxes uh, because they're gonna be in his way. Oh shit! Not in a million years. Are you serious? Oh fuck! I'm trying to get that last that last box, but it doesn't want to cooperate. I think I get that baseball bat. Maybe maybe that's that's enough. Is that enough? We'll find out. <clears throat> so this survivor has been here for two days and he does not know that there's a zombie apocalypse going on. What are you doing? I'm saying that he's lost All weight. Right. It reminds me of uh, the scene from Spongebob. Where Patrick goes, I'm wasting away. So yes, he he will realise that uh, a zombie apocalypse is going on, and he needs to come with us to the security room. But we're gonna keep him with us. So give him the shotgun. Uh, most most survivors won't off themselves, uh, giving them a giving them a gun. But there is one character that will that will off himself, and it is best not to give him a gun. Uh, he is coming up pretty soon uh, in the Alfresco in the Alfresco Plaza. Uh, a good way a, a good way to get Bill. Um, to the next area without him being attacked is to use this parasol and run into them. Did you seriously get get grabbed? Right, good and Phil. Yeah, 
Good disappointment, Bill. Wow, really? Just, just straight up yeah. shot me. Please don't get grabbed, Bill. I, I will never forgive you. Right, get another one and do the same same trip uh, we did for that previous area. Hopefully, Bill does not does not get grabbed again. And yeah, he made me drop that because he shot me. Absolute asshole. Yeah, we can we, we can give Follow give me. Bill food once we get to the uh, food court. Over there. Yeah, we do want to we'll, we'll pick this up. Yeah, we're in the food court. Whoa, 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 whoa! Where, where you going, Bill? Come on! Over there! Come here, Bill. So we don't need to worry about Bill right now because he will you will go to where we told him to. Uh, I'm gonna get some wine to give him. Uh, but yeah, no, I'll give him the wine first. So we don't have to worry about it. You, come here. And gotcha. take your shotgun back. So over here, uh, we have. We have an Uzi that's up on this sign. Grab it and we're going to use it for this next part because we have to wait uh, to get the next survivor. Shoot these plates and we'll get XP out of them. And I'll get 10,000 as well for it. So now yeah. uh, we want to take pictures in this place. So get your camera out. I think it needs to be a better angle. Here we go. Take a picture of that sign. And then come towards the middle middle of the food court. Right here. Take a picture here. And we will get four PB stickers. So now there's nothing really else to do right now other than to wait for the call to come from Otis. So I will see you in just a moment. Right, so Otis is calling us back. So let us answer. And he will tell us about a uh, people some of these barricades themselves in a one clothing store. So let us head back into this area. Now what you want to do here is you want to you want to make sure Bill Bill is safe here because uh, he can he can hold his own while he has the shotgun. Uh, I'm just going to use the baseball bat here uh, because well a little bit of more area to work with. I'm going to break that. Uh, use the Uzi here because it doesn't do that much damage. He will run at you, ow. And shoot him five times. That'll make him stop attacking you. And all you want to do is talk to him. Uh, so here, Roger. give give Bert give Bert a gun, uh, and give Aaron yeah. the bat. Gotcha. Now Aaron can actually kill himself, so you do not want to you do not want to give him. Uh, uh, you don't want to give him give him a gun. Uh, Aaron Aaron and Bert can actually get. Uh, uh, so make sure, make sure you just point them in, into the way that they need to go. Just 
play these zombies out to give them a little bit of a hand. Oh, sorry, Aaron. And we just want to go over to that area. Come on, Aaron. We don't have, we don't have time to wait. So now that we've got all of all of them here now, uh, I'm actually gonna give them give them items to heal themselves. Uh, now you, you guys actually need to stay back. Uh, so come here. And okay. Bert, you're the first one. Frank. Roger. Okay. So Next. they're all healed, so now all we need to do is wait for Otis to give us the call back. And there we go, Otis has called us back, so we, we will have to be quick on this part because uh, it can get quite dicey. So let us get in there very quickly. Uh, again, put everyone in in here, and I would recommend uh, clearing the area area out with over this way because uh, it's going to be a resource. Uh, clearing clearing the majority of the of the zombies uh, because it's going to be very difficult, especially when we have to. Oh God. When we have to carry uh, Leah. Now the dialogue is pretty fast here, so I won't be able to read it. Read it. But pretty much, this is a very dark, uh, a very dark scene that we're gonna we're gonna witness here. Machine clear, clear some of these out. Yeah, because we are going to need the layer to come over the counter, and the other survivors are going to end up uh, running by the time that we. Because you have to, you have to call her to make uh, make a jump over the. Come on, Leah. Come on. We gotta go. Come on. Yeah. Now we have to get going. We have to go now. Follow me. Come on. Follow me. Follow Come on, guys. Come on. We don't. We, we don't have time. Okay, that, that's good. We got, we have all of them now. So now, what are you doing? now, yes, <laughs> yes, we already have, we already, we already have it. Um, Otis, you're Damn a bit, it. you're a bit late on that one. But now we have to, we have to be quick now to get out into the next section because uh, we do not want the the convicts to appear. Where the hell's Aaron? Come on, go. Oh my god, Aaron, are you... Come on. Come on. Why is it always you? In any playthrough, it's always Aaron. Come on, Come on Aaron. Follow me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Follow me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Follow me. Come on. Come on, because I don't want to... I don't want to have to fight these.
Ah, oh, there we go. Thank God for that. So, we're, we're lucky we didn't have to fight the... Fight the convicts, because there, uh, there is a chance that if you're not fast enough... Aaron, are you for real? I swear, it's always, it's always Aaron in the in these runs. It's never the other ones. It's always Aaron. Come on, come on, follow me, follow me. Come on, come on, follow me. But the next thing we are going to be doing, which is, it uh, is pretty annoying. Uh, because uh, he doesn't, he doesn't stay in one place. He literally, he literally come on, runs about the place. Me. Come on, follow me. Come on, oh, come on, follow me. Follow me. Come on. Don't, don't you dare get grabbed. Come on, follow me. Come on, okay. follow me. Aaron, if you get grabbed, I, on, I, I, me. I will just follow leave me. you today. Pretty close now, so we shouldn't have a problem. We'll be able to, we'll be able to heal them on, once we. Bill, Bill, what Come are you on. doing? Come Why on. is it you now? Why? Why? Thank you very much. Uh, Please, please, please. Oh, please, please have all of them here. Right, now we're actually going to meet our next... Uh, our next survivor here. Well, he's, he's not really a survivor, he's more of a... Well, you, uh, I, I say more. He is actually, he is actually a psychopath. <laughs> but he, he's, he, he's got, he's got a, a mission, a mission to him that we need to do. Uh, so, before I actually talk to, talk to you, Kent. Bill's okay now. Aaron, you got it. You take, you take that. So you get this, this is kind of like a picture tutorial, pretty much. He will ask us to do certain things, uh, taking pictures and whatnot. Uh, but uh, he doesn't really, he doesn't really work with us uh, that well. Excuse me. And yeah, so it it is it is possibly best uh, have have the the survivors that we have here. Uh, uh, okay, no, 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 come come this weekend. Have your survivors stay there, and Kent is actually gonna gonna get stuck on them. Oh no, he's sorted himself out. So follow him because uh, he's gonna he's gonna show you the best places to take take pictures. Now that was a good one. That was a good one.
fantastic. Whoa. Over okay. here, old man. Usually, usually I don't, I, I don't get the uh, this on the first try, but we're do, we're doing okay so far. So now we just need to get him in frame, and he didn't do that. Either. Need to get him frame doing the. What do you mean, take, taking pictures? I just did that. Oh, really? Only That's 300. There we go. That's 500. Nice job. What do you mean? Am I in... Ah! Oh, this... This motherfucker. There we go, that's a, that should be enough. Right, now we have to take a picture of him doing a pose. Uh, which is much harder. And that is that. That is that done. Hmm. Well, it's in focus, and uh, the composition's okay, I suppose. Uh huh. Hmm. That ain't half bad. Okay. Here comes the next one, Frankie. But first, feast your eyes on my work. Now this is my most emotionally moving shot. <laughs> now this is my sexiest shot. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, okay. This is my most violent shot. Check it out. Ugh. Okay, here's the deal, Frankie. You gotta so go yeah, out so you, and take even you, better you pictures than the pretty ones much, I pretty much unhinged. You. you think you can handle that, huh? Yeah. So yeah, we will actually see Follow Kent me. later. And all we need to do is we're actually going to finish off this episode. So all we need to do now is just bring everyone. In fact, I say that, but uh, it has turned night time now. <laughs> and we're actually going to get another cutscene. So, if that wasn't obvious, uh, zombies at night get more aggressive, which is not good. Is not good, especially since we have survivors with us. Uh, they have to be re really careful here. Come on, Bill. Aaron, why are you standing around like a fucking lemon? Follow me. Damn. So we get introduced to another little concept here. Queens. Now, queens are actually really, really handy when it comes to being uh, 
being surrounded. It is a good, it is a good idea to have a queen's, queen's handy, especially in uh, certain cir circumstances. I probably will have uh, in my inventory one queen, uh, at least, at least handy, just, just in case any uh, stuff goes down. Uh, but where is where are the other two? There's Leah. Oh no, quick, quick, he's getting off. Run! Yeah, uh, but what I am gonna do here is I'm gonna replenish my my mannequin, uh, mannequin. Thank you very much. Torsos. Now, when you see a zombie do that, do that when they uh, when they're waving their arms about and just just not moving and paying attention to you, those ones have queens. Uh, they will be quite useful, quite useful, especially uh, when there's a lot of zombies. Uh, they won't they won't be too too useful later on, but we will need to uh, use them later for something else. Nope. Oh. Let's let's grab everyone. Follow me! Follow me! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Actually I think I can just press the elevator button and then everyone should be there. Ah. Right, so we're gonna have to grab Leah <laughs> and bring her over here. Yeah, because Thank she's gonna be very very, very slow. Follow me! So, Everyone, come on. Come on. Follow me. Follow me. Oh, Leah and Aaron are stuck on each other. Here come we go. On. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Come on, Aaron. And that's everyone. So we will get a cutscene as well here as well. Uh, when we get back to the to the security room uh, because this is a scoop and it will be finishing it. Hmm. So that's what Dr. Barnaby said, huh? The old coot's not dumb. He wants us to call for help first. We got a line out or what? <sighs> the signal's being blocked. I can't even contact HQ on the emergency line. So, if we want to get our hands on Dr. Barnaby, we're going to have to secure a way out of here ourselves. All right, we've got to deal with the situation we've been handed. The boneheads back at HQ might be working on something, too. There's a helicopter coming. Three days from now. At noon, it's my ride. Is your ride reliable? Absolutely. That's how I plan on getting out of here. All right, then. I'll see to it that the DHS picks up the charter fee. Can we take Dr. Barnaby as well? Sure. As long as you tell me what's going on. OK. I'll tell you what you want to know. Later. We have more pressing business right now. If we have to wait here for three days, we'll need supplies. Uh, water, blankets and the like. We'll get Dr. Barnaby here tomorrow morning. I want you to keep an eye on the monitors. Well, so now there is uh, not, much to, not much to do, but um, we're actually going to save uh, because the hard part is now over. <laughs> So in the next episode, we're gonna we're gonna survive, uh, help more survivors because it is gonna take a while for us to uh, get into that next that next case. Uh, but there will be things to do in the meantime. Uh, but if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode of Dead Rising.